Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video we are going to be doing a, a Griffin Tame and I know it's a bit out of season but uh <laughs> yeah it took a long time for me to find a level 145 Griffin and uh also I knocked it out on camera but uh like a lot of other YouTubers the knocking out didn't save somehow I don't know why but <laughs> Griffins didn't like to seem to. The Griffins don't like to seem to be like that. What? I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Griffins don't like to. Griffins. No, oh my God, no. I, I think I should just give up speaking here. No, I, I'm not gonna speak for the rest of the video. Griffins don't seem to like to be knocked out on camera, so to delete the footage before it can save. So, uh, yeah. Nah, I didn't get the footage of it getting knocked out, but I do have a Lancer is which is a uh, level 4 145 male griffin and uh yeah as you can see it's a uh, stats uh eh it's stats uh, <laughs> like most griffins pretty pathetic but uh <laughs> uh i probably just could go pump stamina on this griffin just a ton after uh, i mean if i tame it <laughs> but uh yeah i do have myself a, a chef station and yeah i'm going to use the allosaurus kibble they obviously haven't added the Griffin Kibble into the Chef Station because it is obviously too overpowered. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to be Star Team this guy, so I'm going to be diverting my whole morning to this guy. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a long ride. Yeah, it's probably going to take like three hours or something like that. But uh, yeah, nah, I'll, I'll try to get through the whole time without this guy getting killed. So yeah, nah, I guess I'll be back once, 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 once. <laughs> Once this guy's hunger goes down enough for me to go and feed it a ton of Allosaurus kibble. So, uh, yeah, guys, I will uh, be right back. Alrighty, guys, so we are back about uh, maybe two or three hours. Who, who knows how long, but it's been some time. And as you can see, the hunger is, uh, well, I, I, I don't really know how that matters, but it's about a hundred, uh, a thousand and a hundred. Uh, what? Do, do I even speak? No, I don't even speak this episode. I'm sorry, but it's about 1,100 and something like that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've got my chef station here, and I'm going to start feeding it. So, we've got ourselves 1,300 mixes, and let's just create a ton of Allosaurus kibble then. Let's just make sure there's Allosaurus kibble we're making, so I don't want to make some different stuff. But, uh, okay, I think I can spam it now. Right, come on. Make a ton of those. And hopefully it can feed the griffin fine. Let's just make 60 for now. 60 should probably do it, yeah. <laughs> right, and uh, I'm surprised I actually kept this guy at 100, um, 100 taming effectiveness. That's actually really impressive. But stick it in. How much does it do? 1.9. Okay, right. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that 60 would do. But let's just make some more just in case, because... I don't want to have to accidentally do something wrong and get this guy's team effectiveness down for no reason whatsoever. But uh, yeah, nah, I should I should probably do it. <laughs> this guy is probably going to uh have to take a bit take a bit of while for uh, take a bit of while. To, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today, but uh, whoa, I, I just noticed all this all the cooking stuff goes away once you've used all your mixes. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah uh. This guy's probably going to, uh, the last few kibbles, probably going to take a while to go down, so, yeah, but let's see how much it goes up to. It's, uh, doing pretty well. It's plus 55 levels. Okay, so, is that, is that it? Is that, is that, oh my goodness, <laughs> that was instant, 199, okay, that's not way too bad, it's not 200, yeah, no, <laughs> but I'd be here for another year if I wanted to, to get a 200 griffin, but, uh, here we go. We got ourselves a griffin. How about that? Woohoo! Three cheers for the most reliable screen recorder I've got. Once again, it has failed to save a clip, and uh, yeah, that was my first impressions on how this guy flies. But I flew, I've flown a griffin before, and I was on god mode. But uh, so somehow I think this guy's swooping's broken because uh, before like when I first came, he was swooping fine, but now it's just like, no, nah, it just doesn't even work anymore. I don't know why, but uh. Yeah, this guy's uh, stats, it has got uh, 4,500 health, a uh, stamina leveled up a bit, started at 500, oxygen, uh, don't need to care about that, 8,000 8, food, weight 400, melee damage 250, and movement speed 
136, so that's not way too bad. I'm just gonna pump uh, the stamina on this guy because it is a stamina team. Like, if you don't, what what else are you gonna up on it? Like damage, you don't exactly use it. You don't exactly use it as a brawl, a brawl team, do you? So, uh, yeah, no, nah, I, I don't know what's wrong with the swooping. I think it's because I pulled out some, I pulled something out on it, and I just couldn't swoop anymore. I don't know why, but yeah, as you can see, I can pull something out and shoot, which is. You know, absolutely great. The turning is a bit uh, shifty, but uh, it it does turn. Uh, it's, it's got like a bigger turn radius than a Bronto, but you know, it still it still turns, which is absolutely great. But oh, I think I fixed it again. There we go, it's fixed again. All right. Well, uh, I was going to swoop on something, but I, <laughs> I couldn't find anything, and the swoop broke. So uh, yeah, let's try swoop on something now. So let's see. Uh, is there anything on the ground? I can't see anybody. Why is there legit nothing around now? But yeah, the top is still going up because I fed it way too much biotoxin. But uh, oh god, it's got so much more torpor. What? How? How is it still going up? I don't understand. But yeah, the uh, air streaks is a bit, a bit glitched sometimes. But uh, where can we? Okay, it's getting dark now. I can't even see anything. Is that something over there? Whatever. I'm just gonna swoop towards it. Cause why not? Uh, oh, there was a rock there. I couldn't see anything. Oh my goodness, that was a, that was a fail, wasn't it? <laughs> Uh, let's try that again. Come on, go up. Uh, the stamina is being horrible. Absolutely great. Oh, I lost it. Is it? Is that there over there? Uh, okay. Well, uh, that was about a hundred damage. I don't. I don't even know. I didn't really see it correctly. But let's go level up some more stamina. There we go. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll go and uh, tame a quetz now. I don't really know. I think because I I just cut most part most part of um, taming this griffin. I think I, I could just go and tame something else in the same episode so that shouldn't be way too bad so uh you know i don't i don't really know i think i think i'll go tame a quetz because why not yeah no nah, i'll just go tame a quetz now so yeah i'll be back when i find a uh nice uh quetz actually scrap that <laughs> let's go ahead and tame another griffin because i just found one with uh 145 levels once again and uh, this time i'm gonna try to use the new griffin kibble that i've got from the december uh december what what you call it primal pass loot drop yeah, that's right and uh yeah hopefully six will do it but i'm gonna go and buy myself some more aloe kibble just in case just because i don't want to have this guy's uh <laughs> effectiveness go down even after we use the griffin kibble because that'd be a waste let's just use 15 15 amber on these mixes and get ourselves some aloe kibble and I'll, I'll save i'll save the one i'll save the ones left this time because you know <laughs> last time i just let the griffin eat it all and you know that probably wasn't too smart but uh yeah let's go create those that's probably good enough and hopefully this time i'll actually be able to re record it going down because last time you know we <laughs> the recorder kind of stuffed up but i bet it's going to do it do the same thing this time as well so yeah, no, hopefully it's recording. If not, then, uh, well, rest in peace. That, that, that was a really fitting situation for it. Well, I just knocked it out. Is it? Okay, it's 100% good. <laughs> uh, I thought I shot it right after it knocked out. But uh, yeah, let me just stop recording if it still is recording. And I'll be right back. Well, would you look at that? It actually recorded. Good on your screen recorder. I'm proud of you. But I bet now it's not recording. So, right, just checked. Yes, it, it still was recording. Nice, nice. Just keep on going like this. And I might actually find you reliable. But yeah. I got the biotoxin inside my pterodon, I'll take that. And I'll instantly feed this guy then, I guess. Uh, no, I do not want to know what's in store. Oh yeah, no, I need I need to put a soothing bomb on, do, don't I? That's right, let's do that. And let's just uh, check the area for any dangers. Looks like uh, another person from the server's gone and trapped this griffin. Uh, don't know uh, what they're planning to do with it, but... Uh, yeah, I'm yet to tame a female griffin, because uh, I do need them eggs for the kibble to maybe i could sell it to people who knows but uh yeah no i do need a female and the reason i'm taming another one of these is because the griffin i tamed like just before it's a it's a ys griffin so the surname's ys 
And, uh, if you didn't know, there's two families of Wyse Griffins. Don't really know why, but, uh, yeah, they're... So that means if I do tame a female YS Griffin, there's a chance that it might might, might be uh, uh, from a different family, and you know we don't exactly want that. So yeah, I'm here taming uh, A N Griffin, which is a uh, pretty fancy because my, my name um, ends in A N. So you know that's absolutely great. So uh, yeah, this is the Griffin Kibble in it. That's right. Okay, let's uh, stick it in. I think everything's good. Oh, I'm gonna. I, I'm going to regret putting this in because I forgot some sort of process, progress or, process or something, but... YOLO! There you go! Uh, okay, it's, uh... <laughs> taking it in very slowly, of course, as always, and, uh... Yeah, you know what? I'll be back once this guy's, uh, gone one up. Um, that, that doesn't make any sense, right? I'll come back once this guy's taken one bite, and we'll see how long this guy takes to tame. So, yeah, be right back, guys. Rightio, oh guys, this griffin just took its... First bite, and it's 38.6%. Alright, so, three, th yeah, three cubes should do it, so that ain't too bad. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I shouldn't need to use any of my aloe cubes, so I'll just keep it on me. And hopefully this guy don't get attacked by any hostiles around, because, uh, I really like the look at that 100% taming effectiveness, and I want to keep it like that. So, uh, yeah, guys, I guess I'll be back once uh, this guy's nearly consumed his third and final griffin kibble and that should be fine i'm gonna take the rest of the griffin kibble out just because i do not want to waste any because i do i don't have any female griffins yet and yeah once i have those i'll be taming griffins like mad but uh don't know how much griffins i need to be honest probably just around maybe four i don't really know yeah no that that's that's probably gonna be it just four griffins because i don't want my whole taming it taming list just to be griffins all around but even though that would be kind of nice, but I can't, I just can't really do much with them, can I? Because I can't exactly sell them, because uh, if I unclaim them, they'll just go insane and get mad at me, and uh, I, I'd get charged for domestic abuse, and then that wouldn't be so nice. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know why I would need much more griffins than one, but, <laughs> yeah, uh, except for breeding, because breeding gives you better griffins, and, you know, that's great, so... <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I'll be back once this guy's nearly tamed up, and yeah, it shouldn't take as long as last time, which took about like two hours or so. It wasn't too bad, to be honest. But this one, this one's gonna be better. Yeah. Right, guys. So we are back, and we are lagging a slight bit, but the Griffin, as you can see, is nearly finished. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you guys its stats right before it tames up, and I'll show you guys its stats after it tames up. Gosh, this is lagging so hard. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, the griffin looks absolutely amazing. It's like... I forgot my colors. <laughs> it's like white, black, and gold. And, uh, the, and, and the back, the back half is just, like, lion colors. But the front looks absolutely amazing. And, uh, oh, well, <laughs> this guy just tamed up. All right. <laughs> I didn't exactly go into its stats too much, but, uh, you know, you guys probably saw the stats. I, I don't even know, but, uh... Yeah, once it's tamed up, uh, it's stats, 4,000 health, 600 stamina, uh, oxygen doesn't matter, S uh, hold up, let's just quickly take out the griffin kibble, actually, because I don't want it to, and the griffin kibble's gone. <laughs> He's gone away, all the griffin kibble, like, instantly, oh, well, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, because when they tame up, the, the food goes up as well, but, like... They're like, they don't, they get hungrier, so they eat all the stuff inside their inventory. Well, that's a bit of a shame. <laughs> Can't believe he did that. I, should I have taken it out before? No, I don't think, I don't think it would have worked, no. But, eh, too bad, so sad. Doesn't really matter too much, but, uh, yeah. The weight is uh, about 450, melee damage, 250. Movement speed, 136.5. And Torpa... Uh, 33, uh, 34,000. So, that's absolutely awesome. But, uh, yeah, this guy is, a uh, pretty good. Look, I mean, I just like, I just like how he looks. Like, it just looks really nice. But, um, yeah, uh, let's go and pump, uh, stamina on this guy as well. Because, you know, Griffin for stamina teams. But, yeah, now we have a chance of getting, now we have, um, what do you call it? Two chances, two out of 16 of getting a Griffin that has, uh, the last name that I have and is a female, if that made any sense, but <laughs> I'm saying I tamed this guy up as well because, you know, one, it was a high level griffin, and two, 
Uh, the other, the other Griffin kind of like has a really popular last name, so you know this guy might be easier to find a partner for. So that's all I am saying. So um, uh, yeah, I'll come back later, probably with another female Griffin team, and uh, yeah, hopefully that will go just as well. It's a bit of a shame that I had to. God, I am lagging so hard right now, but. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame that I had to, um, that all of my Griffin Kibble just went, but, nah, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it, really. I'll come back with a, another Griffin Tame, uh, next. So, yeah, be right back, guys, until I find another female Griffin that, uh, fits with one of our Griffins. So, yeah, that's absolutely awesome. Right guys, so we are back with our most likely final team for this video, which is a female YS Griffin, and that is uh, a partner to our uh, other YS Griffin, and, uh, but the thing is that there's two YS families, and like, this could be from the wrong family, but you know, screw it, I'ma just uh, go and track this girl out, and hopefully it's the same family as my other Griffin, so uh, if it's not, probably gonna tame another one off camera but i really can't be bothered taming anymore and i cannot shoot for some reason what is happening oh it's because i'm oh pff, well <laughs> all right well that's interesting let's uh try that again then gg us gg to us uh <laughs> Oh my lord, that was uh, slightly trash, but uh, there you go, you can stay there. Why is my thing being weird? Come on, just close, and close here as well. And let's not try to point <laughs> at the doors when I when I go and shoot this guy now. Right, there we go, let's finally start. Uh, let's go and throw a torch on the ground, because why not? Because uh, it'll be easy to see. Right, there we go, grab the gun back, and then shoot him. Shoot her, I mean, until she is unconscious. Come on. Is she already in fear, or is she just trying to correct her position? I don't know, but... Let's just, uh, keep on going. Whew. Right, it's taking away the house a bit quick, so I think I can only shoot about, uh... Oh, no, never mind. That's, uh... It's all good now, so I, I won't really focus on the taming effectiveness for this Griffin, just because it's a, um... It's not a good Griffin, alright? It's, uh... Even if it is from the same family, it's only gonna be like, the, the highest I can get it to is like level 45, and that's a horrible base level for your babies, but uh, I think most likely what I'm gonna do with this griffin is like experiment on how to get the eggs, the griffin eggs, cause I, th I think, I heard that you can get them normally, but like it has to be under some certain conditions, which is uh, eh, I don't know those certain conditions, uh, so... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna try to go find that out once I get this female griffin, and uh, hopefully it is from the same family as my griffin over here, but uh, yeah guys, I'll be back once I tame this girl up, yeah, be right back guys. And we have a tamed griffin, there we go, and it's mate boosted, yes, so it is from the same family, okay, so that is absolutely amazing, then we finally get her back out of here, and uh... <laughs> God, that took like way longer than expected. And I, I, I realized halfway that I had some uh, random aloe kibble just stored back at my base. But uh, yeah, here we go. We got the two YS Griffins. Let's see. Yeah, they are mate boosted. And uh, yeah, it's level 43. Not the best, but uh, can can mate. So it's absolutely amazing. I don't know if I will mate him. Maybe I will. Maybe I, I'll just do it for the ki for the kibble. I don't really know, but, uh, yeah, let's see her stats, even though it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, her stats, 1,700 health, 292 stamina, uh, 300 oxygen, 1,800 food, uh, 308 weight, 92 melee damage, movement speed, 136.5. Like always. Now, uh, yeah, why not level up stamina on her as well, even though I'm probably never gonna ride her. But yeah, it's uh, lucky that she is from the same family as uh, Lannery's, because uh, I could have accidentally gotten myself a different family YS Griffin, so that's not going to be... That wouldn't have been very nice, but yeah, we got ourselves two lovers now. That's uh, absolutely great. 
Alright, so the last thing for this video, I'm just going to give you guys a tour of my base since the last episode. And as you can see, out here we got ourselves some eerie turrets just shooting down everything out here to make sure that the teams inside are safe. And over in this uh, industrial room or something, I don't really know, is, uh, yeah, we got a, the greenhouse. I added some nice, uh, just uh, aesthetic plants to it, so that's pretty cool. And uh, over here we have the industrial grinder, and here we have the industrial forge, which are painted orange, because, you know, why not? <laughs> this room hasn't been used yet, it's probably going to be a trophy room, to be honest, I don't really know, but... Yeah, we have a little, uh, or large, uh, weapon mount over here, holding the weapons that I <laughs> never use at all. But, uh, yeah, over here we have an armor stand, the Rex trophy, and a digital clock that Routine sent to me via, uh, a nice gift. So, uh, yeah, in here I've placed down all the chocolate bars, because that's exactly what it looks like. Just looks like a ton of Kit Kats, really, but, uh, yeah, I labeled all of them except for this row, and over here we got the, uh... The uh, chests, uh, not chests, what am I talking The bookshelves, that's right, so you could go and look at these uh, labels if you wanna, but there's not much point, because, you know, there's, you know. <laughs> you can if you want, yeah, that's right. So, up here is the second floor, probably gonna be my bedroom. I don't really know what a bedroom would be like in art, but on the balcony, there's a Spinosaurus statue, because, you know, why not? And over here we have a, giga a Gigantosaurus statue. Because uh, it was on sale, and I went mining amber to get it, and yeah, just resting on top of here. And I also put some lights to it, so that's absolutely great. I'll go activate the lights once I get back inside. But up here, we have the uh, flyer place where I put all my flyers. And as you can see, here's my griffin that I just tamed just then. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to do any griffin ta uh, breeding this episode or next episode. Next episode's probably going to be uh, giga taming, most likely. I don't really know, but... Yeah, up here we got the Brontosaurus, just uh, kind of chilling. I haven't used I haven't used her in like so long. I don't even know why I own a Brontosaurus anymore. But uh, yeah, that is uh pretty much this base. I don't really know what else there is. Uh, am I missing any rooms? I think this, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. So uh, as you can see, there's a little door here. I just added added that in for convenience from the storage room to the crafting stations. And, uh, anything new with the crafting stations? I don't really think so. Over here we've got a gasoline chest full of uh, gasoline. Well, hopefully it's going to be full of gasoline soon. And, uh, that's about it, really. Oh, yeah, I'm going to turn on the lights, aren't I? So, we got the in inner lights, which is 0000, zero, zero, zero but they're already on, so. The outer lights at 0001, zero, zero, and, uh, the, ga the garage lights, I mean. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's orange and blue, and if I go far enough over this direction, you can sort of see orange and blue, yeah, an orange and blue light up there, where the flyer perches, and, uh, yeah, the third, uh, the third and final lights is the statue lights, wait, no, let's not deactivate it, let's go 0002, and if you go up here, you'll be able to see that these statues are now lit up, so, yeah, that is absolutely great. Here's this, the Spinosaurus, and the Gigantosaurus, and, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for my base so far. Yeah, once I get, um, once I get all of the artifacts and do its, uh, pursuits, I'm gonna be able to go and showcase all of them here, and, uh, oh yeah, out here I added these, uh, trophies that's, uh, yeah, just on the balcony, because, well, not the balcony, the veranda, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just, uh, sitting there, um, the last one, I'm not sure, does the, does the Absolcence, uh, Pro Hunt Absolcence give you a trophy? I'm pretty sure it gives you a Deer trophy, because that's the only other one I've ever seen, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully one day I'm gonna complete that pursuit, because it's gonna take absolutely forever, but, uh, yeah, that is it for my base so far, so, uh, yeah, that's also the end of the view up. I forgot to show you guys upstairs over here. Let me just quickly go up here. There's some lights here. Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a snail wearing a miner's hat, because why not? But yeah, up here we got ourselves the some uh, campfires and stuff to make charcoal and the cooking pot to make dyes. And we got the air conditioners all over the place and the refrigerator here. And out here, I don't know if I showed you guys this last episode, there's a feeding show. And there's a light out here, so yeah, that's the upstairs over here. So, now I can add the video. So, 
Like if you liked the video, comment down below, and if you're in the mood, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, and have a good time.